YouTube, what's going on? This is PD from SupplementReviews.com bringing you our latest video review, this time from an up-and-coming company, me, also known as Muscle Elements, and the project question is Amino Flow. All right, first of all, thank you to Eric Tomko and the rest of the Muscle Elements crew for sending this our way. We've had a few other reviewers on this as well, and the feedback has been awesome. So, we're going to break it down, talk about exactly what makes this a ball and product, uh, what makes it, I guess, an up-and-coming one, what sets it apart from the rest of the intro uh, products on the market today, and, of course, tell you what the individual pros and cons of it are. All right, first of all, let's take up the front of the label here, taking a look here on the Amino Flow multi-purpose BCA and NO support formula. And it makes me think of that song Even Flow off of Guitar Hero. I don't know why. Maybe it's Amino Flow. Anyway, uh, the point across for that. Anyway, it increases exercise capacity, muscle pump, recovery, blood flow, nutrient delivery, protein synthesis, and that hydration to keep those muscles functioning nicely. All right, first up has 10 grams BCAs and a 3-1-2 ratio. No sugar or artificial colors, 4 grams of citrulline, 500 milligrams agmatine sulfate, and 16.5 grams total amino acids. That is per two scoops. So it has two products in one, and of course we're going to keep it rocking. Alright, so first up, taste and mixability. This is the Fruit Punch flavor FP. It's got 30 servings per container here, um, which I guess when you look at it here, a serving size is one scoop. So if you're using the full two scoops, it realistically is 15 workouts. Alright, so... Uh, most pre-workouts do have that listed on there. It's simple to break it down in terms of one scoop serving, which is why it's done like that. But regardless, keep in mind, it's 15 true servings per workout here. All right. Starting with the uh, taste and mixability here, uh, let's cover that first. It mixes well. I didn't have any uh, issues with it in terms of getting it to mix. Um, of course, the flavor was good. It's fruit punch. Uh, so there wasn't, you know, I didn't have any problem with the flavor. I'm not a huge fruit punch guy. But um, at the same time, I wasn't, I guess, too bummed about drinking it, so that's always good. And, um, of course, it mixed well. There wasn't any settling in the bottom of the container. It had a little bit of foam at top um, right after you mix it, but that dissipates pretty quickly. So, no complaints there. Taste and mixability, standard ballpark. It gets an 8.9 out of 10. Okay, no complaints. Mixes well, does what it's supposed to do. Moving on to the part that's more important to me here is when you got a formula like this with so many on the market, it's going to depend on exactly what's in the product. So, let's take a look at that right here. I actually really like this blend. Okay, so per one scoop here, it of course has calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and sodium for that electrolyte complex and therefore hydration. And now, more importantly, taking a look at the muscle growth and recovery matrix elements for ME. That's the uh, theme here. It was 6,000 milligrams or 6 grams. It's got instantized BCA blend of 312 and L taurine. All right, um, the word is when they waited 312. Um, there's a bunch of different signs out right now in terms of the different ratios for, I guess, amino acids. But the huge thing here is they went to 312, usually it's uh, 211, so they did bump up the leucine ratio here um, to increase that protein synthesis. Hey, it's what they chose to go with. I like it, I dig it, and of course the inclusion of L-taurine there as a cognitive factor is good stuff. All right, so no complaints there, six grams. Moving on from there, the interesting thing that sets us apart, it's an emerging trend, and they really, I guess, teed off on this here, is increasing that nutrient delivery to increase protein synthesis, and of course, uh, get the nutrients to the muscle where you're exercising to increase your exercise capacity. So specifically with that, you got L-citrulline. The huge thing here is that it's not L-citrulline malate, the bonded version. It is true L-citrulline because otherwise it's a cheaper version of it and only half of that's really going to be absorbed. So in other words, by using true citrulline, the more expensive version, they're not cutting corners here. They're going to give you more of the active ingredient increasing that blood flow. So that's good right off the bat. Agamax, which is agmatine sulfate, that's huge. That's in a lot of things these days. That's going to give you that muscle flow. It's going to give you those pumps. It's going to give you that vascularity. That's good stuff. 500 milligrams per scoop in there. Um, well, per two scoops. You're rocking. Like I said, I like that inclusion there. You can use this as a standalone product for your pre-workout, or you can use an intra-workout like I do to increase that protein synthesis. There's agmatine in your most of pre-workout these days anyway, so I'm fine with half a gram per scoop for a serving here. All right? L-histidine, the classic blood flow dilator, okay? L-ornithine, ACL, another course of alcidilator, and of course grapeseed extract has a lot of antioxidant properties in there for increasing blood flow and cardiovascular health as well as increasing cardiovascular capacity. I really like that in there for the pump and nutrient uh, elements here. We got a good hefty um, amount in here at two and a half grams, almost three. Okay, well, I got about two and a half, about two and three quarters, okay? So we're getting there uh, past that hydration and endurance complex elements, disodium phosphate, dicalcium phosphate, and dimagnesium phosphate. Got those electrolytes in there to keep your muscles hydrated, keep them happy, and of course keep that 
um, water content where it should be. All right, you don't want to just pound water or you're going to have some issues if you're not replacing, of course, the minerals involved for muscle function. So overall with this nutrient blend here, it's one of the best that I've seen as of late. Um, everything listed here is true to label. Um, they use good quality products using full l citrulline as well as you go in the uh, higher level Agamax for the Agmatine sulfate rather than cotton corn, so a cheaper version of Agmatine, so that is good stuff. Okay, so for my rating for supplement facts, it's true to label, I like, it's fully disclosed. Uh, there is a little bit of proprietary blending here. They don't break down the individual amounts of the histidine, ornithin, all that good stuff. That's a trade secret, that's common. However, they do list um, for certain ingredients, the crucial ones like the Agmatine, um, exactly how much is in it as well as the BCAs. So I like that, no complaints there. So the ingredient profile in this is gonna get an excellent rating of a nine and a half out of 10. In terms of effectiveness, all right, this is where the, of course, uh, you know, the proof is in the final product is how it works. It's gonna, like I'm used to Agmatine these days. I feel like it's one of my spirit supplements. It's kind of a godsend in terms of having good muscle flow, um, good blood flow, muscle pumps, of course, vascularity. I like the amount in here. It feels pretty well balanced. It doesn't get you over pumped, but there is a noticeable increase in vascularity. So that is good stuff. I like the inclusion and I think it's here in a good balance. I responded well to it. There's decreased soreness. Okay, that's the main thing you're gonna notice from BCA products. You're not gonna notice so much the effects during the workout. Of course, unless you have the agmatine in it, you're going to notice it more when you don't use an amino acid product when you've been using them because your recovery is going to be slower, okay? Amino acids are going to increase protein synthesis, going to increase the recovery process, and they're going to help you recover faster at a more exponential rate. So, I like the effectiveness of this product. The blood flow is good. Uh, there's a decreased DOM, sort of delayed onset muscle soreness. So, I feel it does what it's supposed to do. It's good stuff, and it's going to deliver exactly as promised. All right, so effectiveness for me, it gets a good rating of a 9.5 out of 10. It does exactly what it's supposed to do without trying to be something that it's not. So, that is good stuff. Finally, in terms of value, it's priced um, on the website a little steep at 50 bucks. However, you're not going to pay near that much if you're not buying directly from the site. Um, it's priced just like any other amino supplement. Yeah, you get high quality ingredients here. That's going to drive up the value, especially for having a two-in-one product. You can use it as a pre-workout, standalone, if you don't want the stems. You're using an inter-workout if you want to increase, of course, your inter-workout capacity with the nutrients in here, such as the agmatine. And you can use it throughout the day to increase blood flow hydration status, as well as keep the nutrients pumping throughout the body should you have the budget to do so. I like the versatility here. It doesn't try to be some it's not. And I feel they put it together an excellent price package um, for, I guess, having everything here on point. So with that being said, the value of this product is good. I guess a 9 out of 10. All right? So that brings my final rating with this stuff. The muscle elements, amino flow, is going to get a very solid 9.4 out of 10 from the rating from supplementviews.com, myself, PD. I like this stuff. I'd highly recommend it. It's one of the best pre um, Intra workouts I've used this year. There's a few other crew, uh, key players here that are in the running for it. Uh, came out light, 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 late last year, including Amino D from Purist Labs, of course, the P Amino IV from uh, PES, and of course, um, there's another one out there from, um, oh, good guys, um, oh, Bear Performance Nutrition out there, where they have the intra flight. So there's a few other good competitors out there along the same lines, and of course you can't forget good old machine fuel, all right? So this isn't a sales pitch for one product here. There's a lot of good ones out there, but this one does go above and beyond, score some big points, and is one of my top recommendations to try have you not had a chance to get it, all right? Additionally, it's gonna stack well with their pre-workout, okay? Pre-cre, I haven't got a chance to use that yet. I have a ton of other pre-workouts to go for it. The next thing in line is to stack the two, of course, and run one as a standalone, all right? So with that being said for now, that is the review on Amino Flow from Muscle Elements. And their uh, clever little, uh, I guess, sales pitch is Grow With Me, M-E, Muscle Elements. Other than that, this has been Petey from SupplementReviews.com bringing you a review for Amino Flow. And y'all, have a good day.